Okay, on this one, they want us to find the slope. So I'm going to go 2x equals 9. So how do you, how do you find the slope? In fact, let me, let me write it right here. Whoops. <laughs> it didn't do anything good. There we go. To, to find the slope. To find the slope. Step number one, get y alone. And step number two, y equals mx plus b right there. The slope is right there. Okay, so we're going to take this equation, 2x equals 9, and what? Get y alone. But there is no y. But y is missing, right? How can we get y alone when y is missing? We can't. It's impossible. So forget about this stuff. The normal, the normal way we do this is not going to work because, because y is missing. Well, okay, well, then what do you do? What do you do? Well, instead, get, instead, get x alone. Since, since y is not even there, we have no choice. So if you have 2x equals 9, go ahead and get x alone. How do you get x alone? Divide by 2 on both sides. x is 4.5, right? 4.5, okay. So when it comes to the graph, what, what does that look like on the graph? Well, remember, this is the x-axis and this is the y. That means the line only goes through the x-axis at 4.5. So one, two, three, four, five. There's one, two, three, four, five. So that means the line goes like, you know, right, right through there at 4.5, four and a half, you know? Okay, so what? Well, what kind of slope? is that? What kind of a slope is that? Slope, D and E, you got it. Because it's infinity. The slope is basically infinity. It's perfectly steep, like a, it's like a cliff, right? So when lines go, so that's our answer over here, D and E. It does not exist because, because whenever Y is missing, that means you just have X, which means your line only goes through the x-axis at whatever, you know, if you solve for x, 4.5. Um, really, you don't really, you can just skip this and this and just go, look, y is missing, d and e. That's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to show you the bigger story, which is not required, that really when you have only x, that means your line goes only through the x-axis, which means it's perfectly vertical like a cliff, which means its slope is infinity, and infinity is not a number, so we say d and e does not exist. So when Y is missing, the slope is DNA.